Thanks so much for tuning in. This is attorney Matt Wayman here today to chat with you about how criminal defense attorneys get cases dismissed. The simple answer is we get cases dismissed by demonstrating to the prosecuting attorney that they will not be able to prove their case beyond a reasonable doubt. I've done this on municipal cases, lower level state cases, all the way up to super high profile murder cases. When a prosecuting attorney reviews a case, they will look at all the evidence presented to them by the police officer or detective that investigated the case. They will then compare that evidence to the criminal statutes. If they believe that they can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that that person violated a criminal statute, then they will charge that case. If not, then they will refuse to charge that case. After that case is charged, the prosecuting attorney must provide the defendant and the defendant's attorney with all of the evidence they will be seeking to use against that defendant at any eventual trial. Defense attorneys will then go through that evidence with a fine tooth comb to come up with the best strategy to prove to that prosecutor that they will not be able to make their case beyond a reasonable doubt. There are a lot of misconceptions about how criminal defense attorneys get cases dismissed. It's not because the prosecutor likes the defense attorney or because the defense attorney knows the judge. Ultimately, it comes down to your defense attorney's ability to prove to the prosecutor that their case will not succeed at trial. Sometimes this is done by filing and winning motions to suppress. Other times this is done by taking depositions and showing that witnesses for the state lied. Criminal defense attorneys have numerous tools that we use to show the prosecutor that they will not be able to make their case. If they agree and are convinced, then they will go to their supervisors and convince their supervisors, and at that point, the charges will be dismissed. I hope this video has been good to give you an overview on how criminal cases are actually dismissed. If you got any other questions, please feel free to reach out directly or comment down below. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. We're going to be back soon with more videos.